The month of October is pretty exciting for tech. You are just recovering from the iPhone launch hangover and then suddenly a torrent of tech launches come your way considering that the festive season is around the corner. Keeping that tech spirit alive, I have for you today some very interesting Android apps that can help you improve your overall experience. So let's take a look. There are tons of to-do list apps that are available on the Google Play Store, but only a few of them stand out. Amongst them is Fania. The UI of this app is quite minimal. Everything that you will ever need in a task manager app is pretty much on the home screen itself. You can see that the entire calendar is right in front of you with your task for the day marked below. You can switch between the dates to check your schedule for the day. You can add a task by hitting the plus icon down below and following that up by writing down your daily schedule. You can set a reminder as well. Not a lot of apps allow this in the free version. You can then go ahead and allot different time slots for your task and then depending on that it will show up on your timeline. Privacy is a serious concern and with most of the apps asking for various permissions it's quite a vulnerable field. Privacy Guard brings all the Google personal settings under one roof so that you do not have to meander around the settings every now and then. You can see all the Google personalization ads that you have turned on based on your web activity. You can even check which apps are tracking your location history and your web activity. In case you need to remove some apps then you can definitely do it from here. You can also go ahead and turn on or off your YouTube history from this app itself. Checking your purchases, Google Assistant history, linked accounts, etc. can be done from this app. Have you ever heard of a music player app that uses AI to play music? No, me neither. This is a first and I absolutely love it. This app basically uses AI to co-create music along with creative artists. You can choose different types of music depending on your mood, your music taste and activity. The app will for sure play you a unique song that is most likely never been played before. You can check all the categories from this tab and choose depending on your activity. If you are in a gym and need a quick cardio session, the sports category might help you. Or if it's raining outside and you need to chill out on the balcony, the lofi category will definitely help you soothe into nature. The app's UI is not one of the best, but it does its job well. You should definitely give it a try. I'm sure you love to play games on your smartphone, especially when they are this much fun and come in a small package. Hellrider 3, as the name suggests, is based on a bike riding game wherein you have to complete particular missions to increase your level. It has a storyline that delves into the gameplay. You have to dodge the enemies while on the bike and also be safe from the gunshots and bombs they fire at you while also shooting them in return in order to proceed to the next level. Well, if we ain't getting road rash on smartphones, this might be our next and final resort. If you are someone who clicks a lot of product shots from your smartphone to maybe share it with your friends for work or for your e-commerce business, this app will be a time saver for you. This app basically turns your product shots into PNG and masks out the image from the background with proper feathering. Although as of now the feathering isn't very consistent. I hope they can improve that with the future updates. You can also resize the frame depending on the product you want to showcase. You can take a well lit photo of a particular product and after a couple of seconds the app will show you the PNG version of the same. You can then go ahead and import that into your device or send it on WhatsApp or any other app. The free version of this app allows you to take up to 10 clips. If you want to capture more, you will have to switch to the pro version, wherein you will also be able to click pictures in a better resolution. So these were some of the apps that came in handy for me and I hope will also help you improve your experience with a smartphone. What do you think about these apps? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, log on to gadgets360.com for more such videos.